Good evening, everyone. I'm Mei Chong from Chang'an University in China. The topic of today's report is the removal of antibiotic contaminants in water environment. Carbonate-based composite catalyst in collaboration with persulfate. Since the discovery of penicillin by Fleming in 1929, Many types of biotics have been produced and used worldwide to treat diseases caused by pathogenic bacteria. Antibiotics are considered to be an emerging pollutant and present in high concentrations in surface water, groundwater, soils, sediments, and biota in almost all parts of the world. The main sources of antibiotics are discharges from homes, hospitals, pharmaceutical factories, sewage treatment, plants, agriculture, and uh, uh, livestock farms. Antibiotic contaminants may threaten the safety of drinking water and can induce the drug-resistant genes and have adverse effect on the growth of certain organisms. In response to the pollution of water resources, there are many wastewater treatment methods. Common wastewater treatment methods include the coagulation, adsorption, anaerobic treatment, and the microbial treatment methods. Uh, these methods have limitations in removing antibiotics, such as anaerobic treatment will have big order and the second revolution in the water quality is uh, relatively low. Later, advanced uh, oxidation technology was developed and the phantom-like method and the photocatalysis were widely used. The photocatalytic method requires suitable semiconductor materials to improve the utilization rate of visible light, so as to improve the degradation efficiency. In phantom system, increasing the Recovery rate of ferrous ion can promote the transformation of hydrogen peroxide. Visible light can greatly enhance the activity and the stability of ion-based semiconductor catalysts in phantom system. The combination of photocatalysis and phantom light has economic advantages and is an efficient and pollution-free method to solve environmental problems. Mm. Tetracycline is a widely used antibiotic, was chosen as the main study object. The core of catalytic degradation of tetracycline lies in the catalyst which is easy to agglomerate and has low reuse rate. The key lies in the construction of the active site on the catalyst surface. Um, in order to solve the above problems, the main method is the semiconductor modification strategy, which is um, which includes surface modification, semiconductor composite, ion doping, precious metal loading, uh, soil solution synthesis, morphology modification, cotton size effect, and other methods. Semiconductor recombination is a good catalyst modification set strategy. Although the semiconductor uh, composite method also has some defects. It is still a widely used method. Mm. 
and we found that Kalinite is a good base for composite materials. Kalinite is a natural silicon aluminate mineral with excellent adsorption properties, uh, abundant natural reserves, and low price, which is conducive to catalyst dispersion. The structure of kaolinite is shown in the figure. SEM of kaolinite show that it is unique two-dimensional sheet structure with smooth and glossy surface, which is conducive to the anchoring of semiconductor materials on its surface so as to achieve adsorption degradation. The aim of this project is to synthesize a series of new kaolinite catalysts with high activity, stability, environmental friendliness, and visible light response, and realize the catalytic application of tetracycline de degradation. We carried out relevant experiments according to the procedure in the picture. We studied that the electron transport mechanism pass and the interface transport behavior and the activity and stability in the catalytic process of composite materials. Based on the above situation, we prepared the experimental sample. As shown in the figure, we selected a graphy carbon nitride, which is abundant and easy to synthesize as uh, the composite material. A new type of highly dispersed uh, palladium oxide uh, graphy carbon nitride kaolinite composite material was synthesized by a simple calcination process. The optimal load rate of palladium oxide is 4 WT percent, and the PCMK will be used as the short for composite material, and the CMK will be used to short for the um, graphy carbon nitride and the kaolinite composite. And the CN will be used as the short for uh, graphic carbon nitride. Uh, we then conduct uh, uh, a series of characterization and the degradation experiments to analyze the properties of the green paired catalysts. The results of SEM and the TM showed that the green paired PCNK composite show, showed a two-dimensional layer the structure and the CN with a strapped structure was successfully dispersed into kaolinite, effectively reducing agglomeration, a large number of dispersed palladium oxide nanoparticles are uniformly fixed on the surface of CNK, which confirms that CNK can expose small attachment sites. The poor volume and the specific surface area of the uh, catalyst are important uh, indicators to characterize the adsorption uh, capacity and the number of active sites. The large specific surface area and the uh, pore volume of CNK are conducive to the adsorption and the activation of PMS. Uh, let's look at the factors that uh, influence the degradation experiment. We conducted uh, degradation experiments to test the effect of the catalyst. When the palladium oxide load increased from 1% to 4%, the CH, TCH removal rate uh, increased. 
These results indicate that palladium oxide nanoparticles as electron acceptor can transfer electrons quickly to activate PMS. Uh, however, the excess palladium oxide is agglomerated on the thin K surface, thereby reducing the number of active sites and the light adsorption capacity. We found that TCH could not directly photolyze, uh, and the degradation rate of TCH increased uh, significantly when both catalyst and the PMS were present. It shows that PCNK can effectively absorb light and activate PMS to produce free radicals. Uh, pH plays an important role in the activation of PMS to produce reactive oxygen species. PMS exists uh, in uh, different forms under different pH conditions, which affects the removal rate of TCH and the remains stable when pH is 4 to 7. And the weak acid and the natural conditions, uh, sulfate ion is the dominant form and can produce uh, reactive oxygen species rapidly. To control the amount of uh, catalyst and uh, PMS, excess will limit uh, photocatalysis. With the introduction of fluoride ions, TCH removal rate decreased. Uh, possible because um, chloride ions reacted with sulfate ions, resulting in relatively weak mineralization ability. Carbonate ions is in no organic ions have the most uh, significant effect on degradation efficiency because they form secondary active radicals. The utilization rate of CNK to PMS is obviously higher than that of CN, which is due to the activation of carbonate to PMS. In addition, the removal efficiency was improved after the introduction of palladium oxide, confirming the synergy between palladium and the CNK. And uh, we did the free radical trapping experiment and the EPR test. The active species identified by EPR are OH radicals, sulfate radical, um, oxy radical, and uh, cigarette oxygen. Moreover, it is found that uh, cigarette uh, oxygen is produced after addition of PMS. Uh, cigarette uh, oxygen also plays a dominant role. Both free radical and non-free radical pathways lead to TCH degradation, in which the non-free radical cigarette oxygen plays a leading role in TCH degradation, while OH and the sulfate radical play a lesser role. For the free radical pathway, CN absorb light energy to produce holes and electrons in visible light, and the electrons are captured by the palladium oxide electron acceptor, promoting the separation of photogenerated electron hole pairs. For non-radical pathways, the key reactive species, single-like oxygen, may be formed through 
multiple reaction pathways. The palladium oxide uh, activation of PMS generated uh, sulfate uh, radical can significantly promote the formation of single like oxygen. The decrease of water molecular oxygen proves the light coordinate can promote the self decomposition of PMS to single light oxygen. Further accelerating the efficient degradation of antibiotics. Finally, the degradation of TCH was completed under the combined action of this active substance. Uh, based on the intermediates identified by uh, LC mass, three possible degradation pathways were considered. For pathway one, the electron rich mesalanium groups in TCH molecule are most uh, uh, vulnerable to single like oxygen attacks. In pathway two, the dehydration process occurs on the secondary. For pathway three, the phenol ropes in TCH are first attacked by sulfate radicals forming P9 through hydroxylation. Finally, all intermediates are reopened under the action of active species to achieve TCH mineralization. Ecotoxicity excellent uh, found that the toxicity of TCH and most of the corresponding intermediates is harmless in the actual alkali environment. But uh, P7, P9, and P10 are harmful to all three and need to be taken seriously. Uh, finally, we summarize the results of this study. The inquiry of palladium oxide on CNK enables the catalyst to have channels and uh, receptors and that can accommodate a large number of electrons and uh, realize rapid transfer between electrons. In addition, the price of coordinate is low and the abundant structure uh, hydroxyl group on the surface of coordinate can accelerate of self decomposition of PMS. This work provides a new way for coordinate based uh, catalytic materials to efficiently degrade the antibiotic contaminants in photocatalytic coupled uh, PMS systems. Using coordinate as the substrate, a catalyst for degradation of antibiotic contaminants can be prepared with high efficiency. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you very much.